Tonight, an urgent warning for Americans visiting Colombia after a string of deaths in tourist hotspots. The U.S. Embassy in Bogota urging travelers not to use dating apps in the country, writing in a security alert that criminals are using the sites to lure victims, with many U.S. citizens drugged, robbed, and even killed by their Colombian dates. Embassy officials confirming the deaths of at least eight Americans traveling in Medellin, possibly linked to the apps. I'm out of words to describe. I just, I don't even know how, how I feel right now. A situation all too familiar for the family of 50-year-old Tu Zhang, an artist and activist from Minnesota who we first reported on last month. He had been traveling in Colombia in December when he called his brother out of the blue asking for money. This time he was like, hey, do you have a couple of thousand? I was like, mm, yeah, no problem. And when do you want it? He said, I want it now. I'm in this, in this bit of a situation here. I go... Oh, uh, yeah, I can do that. Zhang's family telling our Minneapolis affiliate soon after he stopped responding to their messages, he was found dead. A local prosecutor saying Zhang was kidnapped during a date and killed when he could not make the ransom payment and that his body was found covered in stab wounds. I was confused. I, I, to be honest, I don't know why, you know, what the motive is. Zhang had visited Colombia in the past, posting photos and videos to social media as recently as October with an unidentified woman. I'm with my girl. The embassy's alert indicated officials do not believe all eight of the deaths are linked and said they've seen an increase in reports of incidents involving the use of online dating applications to lure victims, typically foreigners, for robbery by force or using sedatives to drug and rob individuals. Often the reports coming from major Colombian cities like Medellin, Cartagena and Bogota. Murders of foreign visitors went up by 29% in the latter part of 2023 compared to the previous year, according to the embassy, and most of the victims were U.S. citizens. It's a popular destination for Americans who are big contributors to Colombia's tourism industry, making up nearly 30% of foreign travelers in the first half of last year. But behind that beauty, tragedy and unanswered questions for families like Zhang's, a case where no arrests have been announced, according to that local prosecutor. Loved ones are left to mourn from thousands of miles away. And he'll draw everybody in. That's the type of people he is. Okay. With that, Stephen Romo joins us. Stephen, so what, what kind of advice is, are, is the U.S. Embassy giving travelers? Because a lot of people travel to Colombia. Yeah, a lot of people do, that's for sure. The advice actually applies to pretty much anywhere that you're dating when you find people online. A lot of it is if you meet a stranger, go to a public place. We hear that time and time again. Also, tell friends and family your plans, where you're going, details about the person, and even what app you used this one, though, is more crime-oriented. They say don't resist physically if you are being robbed. They say people who do that, they are more likely to be killed. And also, importantly, in pretty much all situations, trust your instincts. If something feels off, just get away. But with all of these advisories and warnings out there, it might be a good idea just to put that phone down, stop swiping while you're visiting Colombia for a little while. Good advice, Stephen Romo. All right, man, we thank you for that. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.